This is the MT Predictor weekly update for October 16th. Again, we'll start with the Dow uh, mini contract here on the daily chart. Kind of trace back here. This TS3 went wave 3 down uh, to our typical wave 3 support. Corrected as an ABC into wave 4. And then uh, that unfolded. We've hit the minimum wave 5 down back on uh, October 4th. And you remember last week I said now that we've hit wave 5 down, the tendency is that we will retrace uh, back up. We're looking at the 11,600 to 12,000 area in the Dow Mini. Uh, we got as high Friday as 11,589. So pretty close to the 11,600 area. We've got, uh, you know, we're in earnings season here. The tendency is the market uh, does like to move higher into earnings season. You got options expiration coming up this week, uh, and I think there's about a 72 percent chance that the market moves higher on uh, uh, the week before options expiration into options expiration. But more importantly, what the tendency is after you go down wave five, the tendency is you correct back to the wave four, which is here, the swing high here, DP. All right, very similar to you see we had this five wave pattern back here. Well, the market corrected. Well, where did it correct to? I'm going to take my decision point tool, click on the wave four swing low. It corrected back down to the wave four DP. So just the opposite where we've gone wave five down here. We were wave five up here, corrected back to the wave four DP, correcting back to the wave four DP here. Okay, so very nice, clean, clear uh, patterns here on the daily chart. So this is the area we're expecting. Um, we come into this area. This is the area that has to hold its resistance. If we start closing above 12,000 and those highs get taken out, then chances are the downside targets here will uh, will basically eliminate them and reevaluate. But as long as this area holds as resistance, the danger is that we're going to roll over again. And if we look at the S and P on the weekly chart, the weekly ES anyway, you can see. Uh, we had a, our five wave pattern up here. We actually got the decision point sell signal. Again, this was back on uh, May 6th. So after this five wave pattern up, we'd expect a correction back to the wave four DP. So here was wave four. Let me move this back over here. And the wave four DP was here. Now notice that they pretty much took out this wave four DP they went to the next level support, which uh, was the 200 period moving average here. And you can see we've closed above it and below it and above it. We've just been kind of going back and forth here. Um, and we actually come on this leg here, wave three down on the S&P. So we're moving into wave four. If we go up wave four using our tools here, click on wave two, and once on wave three, it will give us wave four. So we've come into the wave four resistance now. We'll see if this holds here on the ES and the weekly chart. And we can begin to project the wave five down. Let's just do that. Start at the top of one, down to one, up to two, down to three, into wave four here. And here's your wave five targets, minimum and typical wave five. Now the interesting thing is you see how this DP uh, got taken out when we were looking at the Dow after the five waves up. That DP held as support and the market rallied off of that. That didn't happen here. So the danger is now that if this DP gets taken out as support, that the market will then retrace this whole five wave pattern up here. So we can take a DP off of this swing low. And actually we already have it on the chart here this is the next target below the wave five targets so around 960 in the ES so that's the danger if they can't take out the wave four and start closing above that area and take that out and go on to uh, uh, move to the upside if this area holds as resistance just as we're looking at the YM doesn't roll over to the downside um, then uh, you know, obviously, the, the we can erase these downside targets if if the uh, wave four area gets taken out to the upside. If it doesn't and it rolls over, then we're looking initially at this wave five minimum wave five target. 
but because this DP got taken out here, the danger is the possibility is out there now for 960 in the ES that this whole five wave sequence can get retraced. So we'll see. This will be a critical area um, in the coming weeks. This is a weekly chart, so obviously bigger time frame. One of the other things we've been looking at is Goldman Sachs on the daily chart here. But you see it did breach $100, but was not able to close above $100. That's kind of our line in the sand here at the moment. Uh, if it can't get above $100 and maintain above $100, then the market's still going to be weak. The overall markets are YM or ES or S&P or Dow and so forth will remain weaker than rather than stronger. Same with the uh, banking index here, the BKX. We have a little minor five wave pattern down, so we're expecting a correction back to this wave four DP, which is going to be right in this, uh, right around $42 in that uh, BKX here. And it's uh, obviously it's bounced there. We'll see if that uh, gets a little more uh, rally into, like we talked about, earnings season here and options expiration. Next, let's take a look at. Let's take a look at oops, the metals. Here's uh, silver. Uh, this is the uh, weekly chart of silver. We've got a, a buy signal here. If we get to 34.10, which we haven't yet in silver, obviously if it takes out 25.60, the low here, that would nullify any trade set up there. So we'll have to see uh, if silver it's been consolidating a bit here. If it gets up to that 34.10, then the target would be new highs in silver. This is the weekly chart, bigger time frame, so 52.80 would be the target there if we can get to 34.10. Uh, gold here, this is, the, uh, uh, this is the daily chart now of gold. And you can see we just pulled back basically to the 200-day uh, moving average. I have retraced off of that and uh, kind of in consolidation here uh, so we'll we'll see where this goes really not any uh, clear pattern you got s your next resistance basically at this wave 2 or B um, and the uh, 50 period moving average if we look at the weekly chart on this again just kind of a reminder uh, what we went over last week Here's your uh, weekly 50 period moving average, the red line. You can see, um, uh, and below that here, the blue line here is the 200 period, weekly 200 period moving average. Never been violated in the last 10 years. Okay, this goes all the way back, you know, basically back to 9 11. After 9 11, basically, the gold bull market began in uh, 2001. And uh, that uh, 200 period has just never been violated. So uh, back in 2008, with all that was going on in the markets in 2008, we did get a pullback below the 50 period, above the 200 period, a nice DP market bottom signal there with a nice high volume spike telling us that buyers are stepping in there. Um, but uh, other than that, really haven't even had the 50 period moving average uh, tested. It came down there close, but really have, haven't given it a good test yet. So, um, but even if you know gold sells off, as long as this week, uh, weekly 200 period moving average remains intact, as long as it doesn't get taken out to the downside, then the, uh, this 10-year uh, bull market is still intact here. So, uh, let's look at the U.S. dollar here. This is the daily chart now, and you can see the Elliott wave pattern that's formed. Wave three, we've pulled back here into wave four. And so we should find some support here in wave four. Uh, we could actually project up the uh, wave five. Might as well. Let's see if we can do that here. This chart's been giving me a little bit of trouble lately. All right. Well, let me project those chart. For some reason, this chart, this dollar index, gets stuck on this chart. Um, uh, but anyway, so we know we got support here. Wave five up. Uh, probably going to come in around the 80-25 area. Uh, so we'll see if we find support here. If we look at the weekly chart of the dollar, it's also had a major buy signal 
a decision point buy signal here. And then let's finally look at oil. Oil has rallied off of this DP support area here. And uh, uh, we'll see whether this 8820 gets uh, taken out. Your next resistance, if we take our decision point off of this swing here, is going to be just above 92, sitting around 92.44. 92.50 and get some resistance here this wave uh, wave 2 or B this will be wave B actually and it closed just on the top of that so if this high gets taken out this week uh, 87.40 chances are we'll see this this uh, 92 area above 92 area in oil so we will have gone from this DP support target here to the opposite DP off the prior swing. All right, so again, keep in mind the uh, still an earnings season here. And, uh, and uh, again, you expect the market or the tendency is market rallies into that, as well as uh, options expiration uh, this week. Uh, I think it's a heavy news week as well. So... Uh, be on your toes, and we'll see. Critical week, I think, this week. We'll see if those uh, resistance areas hold, and maybe get some consolidation in those areas, and then we'll have to see. The market is going to break one way or the other, uh, break to the upside, and we'll, we'll be in the clear, at least for the moment, or they break back down to the do downside. We'll test those lows again, and then we always have that danger now, as long as the uh, resistance holds of those uh, that 960 area in the ES coming into play at some point in the future. So, all right, hope that helps, and we'll come back next week and see where we are.